So here it is, guys, my uh, secret weapon. I got a really bad cold. No, that's not the secret weapon. This is my uh, remade pop wing, or re, re, uh, resurrected. This motor is a JS1490. It's uh, something that I got from uh, Bob Vincent. <laughs> JS stands for Jet Screamer. Dale used to think my uh, other pop wing was fast. Well, this one, uh, I don't know how much faster it'll be, but it's uh, about four times the motor output that the other one had. Uh, so far, it uh, watt meters at 335 watts, 30 amps on a three cell, on a freshly charged 2200 three cell. And I can go a bigger prop. This is only about a a five 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 or a six probably a five five prop uh, the big servos are to counter all the weight of the of the battery a three cell 2200 even putting it here uh, this is the first time I've tried CG the old CG line is right here oh it snows heavy okay cool the battery can go back a little bit Probably, ideally, it'd be wonderful if it would go there. Ha ha! All right. So this is where the battery's gonna go. A 2200 three cell. Let me mark that. And I can go. Uh, I have a 50 amp ESC, and. Uh, I'm only drawing 30 amps on three cells, so that's a 5.5 prop. I can probably, on the other one, the other, last time I ran this motor was on a, a striker, and I ran a, a 7.5 prop, and it only pulled 39 amps on a three cell. And it was very fast, 80 or 90 miles an hour. And a striker is a little more uh, drag than a pop wing, I think. But anyway, while I got you here, don't mind my messy shop, I wanted to show you a trick they, that uh, a guy at uh, Flight Test showed. You put a little dab of hot glue on the tube, and then you stick it to the other tube. Got that? Is it on camera? And by doing that, it doesn't fall out. Pretty ingenious, huh? Anyway, so be ready for me Saturday, Dale. Uh, this pop wing, I'm going to test fly it tomorrow. This pop wing should be really screaming Saturday. The big servos, I thought I needed to get weight forward with the big motor back there. But I might be able to reduce them now that i found, well, that's a good place for the battery, actually. You start putting the battery out here and it don't help you. Next on my agenda is going to be this uh, night flying sloper, and uh, I've gotten some more of the vibrations out of my quad. I've balanced the props, so I'm going to go for a flight on it, and that's what's happening. See you guys Saturday.